Hey everybody, it's Chuck. Hey ever. <clears throat> hey everybody, it's Chuck Conroy reporting from outside Drayden's house in Opelousa City. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black Two and White Two. Last time we saw all there was to see in Opelousa City, except for the Pokemon Gym, cause it's just the kind of guy I am. Much, much. Uh, maybe about two years ago, I heard the the, uh, the guy with the legendary Pokemon Rush Ram visited Opelousa City. Much, much. Welcome everybody to Route 9, an incredibly short route. Seem to be getting a lot of those, probably to make up for things. Join our team, join our team. Actually, I will force you to join our team. Sounds good, I am itching for a battle. We're gonna kick this off with the best team member, the one who we need to use in battle the most. Against your Scraggy, I send out Dermanitan. Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> We're doing some metal hunting while we're at it. I took the liberty of forgetting all of Darmanitan's moves and teaching it only Fire Blast. And just seeing how well that goes for me. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. That was amazing. Darmanitan OP, please nerf. It's not even using a physical attack and it still did that much to you when you're like eight levels above it. Remember me if there's a move that needs to be forgotten. That's a good line. We hang out here every day until the end. Every day until the end of time. I kind of doubt that because the Earth probably will cease to exist before time does. One Pokemon can have different abilities. Try to catch a Pokemon you've already caught before. That's actually a pretty good tip for this route, as we have some Pokemon with uh, different abilities. Not going to really elaborate. Uh, I'll take that elixir. And I basically just want to get into fight so I can eat through this PP. Not drink through this peepee. Burninating the kitty cat! Burninating the peasants! Huh. I might just run into PP in this battle yet. Uh, avoided the. Oh! I'm a special attacker now! I didn't even intend that! Sure, sure, taunt, taunt me all you like, taunt me all you like. If you can hang on with one HP right about now and not be the frail piece of crap that you normally are, I'd love that. Frail piece of crap, thy name is Lyper. I leveled up off of that. Sure, give my speed effort values, I'm pretty sure that's what you give anyway. All right, it's another wild Pokemon. Minchino, whoop! I wanted to use this Darmanitan on the grounds that we would run into PP. Darmanitan, you struggle. If you've never seen this before, this is a 50 power normal type physical move with recoil damage. In Gen 1, it was normal type, meaning that if your Pokemon could only use struggle to do damage, such as in the case of a Magikarp, uh, having that and tackle, uh, it was impossible to finish the game with just that Pokemon. I learned that from watching j -Rose. Uh, but yeah, he's always the guy that I think of whenever I watch these. Uh, whenever I'm working out... <laughs> whenever I'm working out, I watch his challenge videos because they're just the right amount of time for a cardio set. <laughs> and it's always interesting to see how solo runs differ from one another. That guy is so much effort. I wanted to showcase that move no one cares about because there's a medal for using it. Never give up. I think there's only two medals for, uh... I'm pretty sure there's only two medals related to using specific moves in battle, and we have both of them now. We're all started. I swapped out the team members. Okay, okay. Do you want to pass through here? Then you must greet me. Actually, no, I could have just dodged you when your back was turned, but I chose to fight you anyway because I'm just tough like that. Wearing these clothes in winter. Fear me. As we fight, we have new Pokemon in this route, and this is one of them. Ponyard. Gosh, I just look at that level 52 evolution and I don't know how many more ways I can put it. Maybe everything takes so long to evolve to offset everything else being so fast and respectful of your time in the gameplay. Well, anyway, ways to make you feel like you've worked for something aside, Ponyard is a dark steel type, meaning lots of resistances and even a few immunities. At its maximum power, we get 125 attack stat to work with. Or I guess it would if egg moves were a thing. Here's the thing. Bisharp is strong competitively due to having one of the best sucker punches of all time, but it's just not available. Instead, it has to put up with subpar speed and using Night Slash. We're going over to Drift Veil a lot in these bios because Iron Head is there for it. It's going to use those two moves, then either have Coverage or Swords Dance in the remaining two slots. Further buffing that power is the rare Defiant ability. 
It's all about resistances and physical attacking. Definitely a helpful guy to have around, just lacking its most potent tool that you might think of when thinking of Bisharp. Garboder. Aw, Turkey, Hilbert, so many memorable Garboders in the history of mankind. Garboder is an all-arounder with no poor stats. It buffs itself by stockpiling stockpile, which is like curse, but with no speed drop and with only three of them allowed instead of six. Thanks to no speed drop, it can keep rolling for flinches. Poison is also a pretty nice type defensively that tanks a lot and switches in against some tough opponents. The biggest thing holding Garboder back would normally be the lack of a good physical poison type move to play with those capabilities. Seriously, this huge trash monster with a gas pump for an arm cannot learn poison jab. I'm still bothered by this all these years later. Gunk Shot has been available since Driftvale City and contrary to its name, counts as physical. I can't imagine much reason to carry a dedicated poison type attacker, but should that somehow fit in well, go with the trash man. Besides that, the most notable thing about Garboder is its held items. If you run into it, try using Thief, see if you get lucky. In black only, Gothitelle. Sometimes you just look at a Pokemon and say, meh. As said before, Gothitelle's not one of the worst or anything, but just so outclassed in a region inhabited by so many top tier psychic types. Reuniclus, the big, bulky, better blob. This is a slow Pokemon with amazing stats and just all around the better choice to Gothitelle. As I've told you before, use Trick Room with it. When we last left our intrepid heroes, they were in a hell of a lot of trouble. We have a crook, stop, missing. That's the third time in a row that's happened. Oh goody, a critical hit on the guy with one L. Thank you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> finally did that. We had a double miss first time. Okay, I guess it was two times in a row, not three times because it was underground, but yeah. Vibrava, you give him a taste of your own medicine. You go for the dig, and while you're underground, Aiden, could you surf? Yeah, yeah, I don't have to worry about that. I mean, the hole could theoretically fill up with water without suffocating Jade, but uh, we don't talk about that. It's, it's called endurance training. Yeah, that'll, that'll force Jade's uh, lungs to get stronger by making it out of that situation. And if she doesn't, well, I can always go catch another one. I could never say that, man. I like you, Jade. You've come so far. I know you don't have the best of stats. You're not always the most useful. But when you come in handy, you come in real handy. You've had a lot of clutch moments. Ah, I get it. This is what you call friendship, huh? Huh? You're saying the friendship between us dudes can be... What were you doing to his crotch, man? Just look at the pose they're in. I'm sorry. HP up. I'll happily take that. We'll use that straight away. Aiden. And we'll use another one that I had sitting around. I have a Carbos for raising speed. That could go to Harmony. Okay, item time. Get a free quick ball. Loving it already. Can't wait to see what else you got for us. Dowsing machine. Always. Use that repel again. I feel like I'm really overdue for finding a shiny both in real life and in a let's play, so I was really hoping that one would happen as we were going around there for a little bit. Uh, I'll take that to get a dark gem. This place used to be the entrance to a dungeon known as Challenger's Cave. It's not in this game at all. It's, I think, one of very few locations they didn't do. Ah, sure, why not? I'll, I'll see what I get in the rustling grass because I'm just talking about it. I don't know. Beep, beep. <gasps> oh, uh, I'm not using... Uh, do I want to switch out to Vibrava to let it get that? Let's see how much Brick Brick does right here. It's fine. There will be other battles. Get 2299. But yeah, Challenger's Cave is just straight up caved in. It never is accessible at any point. It's a... Uh, I'll be right back. Dang it. <laughs> I went from that item... Bwah. If I win, give me your Pokemon. Well, that didn't last long. That was just a joke. Everyone's taking it so seriously. <laughs> I take weak Pokemon and raise them to, with tender care until they're good and strong. That's my policy. Saying it was just a joke is just the most amazing legal defense ever, and you criminals just seem to be an expert in that tactic that never works. I wanna go this way. This away. Yes! 
Oh, are you like the fat dude ha halting the fat dude's convention on this bridge too? The tube line bridge is currently undergoing a test to see how many people it can hold. That's right, I can't let any more people- Dude, there is actually a fat dude convention to test the durability of the bridge! I was kidding! And then, some trainers take a Pokemon called Rotom to the storehouse of the shopping mall 9. I wonder what they're doing. Hmm. When you've crossed all the bridges in Unova, something really cool will appear. If I spread this rumor, I wonder if it'll become an urban legend. And if it becomes an urban legend, I wonder if it'll become true. Whoa, 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 whoa. I knew there was something I was forgetting. There's a narrow path here. Something I've been meaning to bring up with Hidden Grottoes. Is this a Pokemon? No, it's a Super Repel. It's the opposite of a Pokemon. I've mentioned that you can't soft reset your encounter, and you also can't reset gender on a Pokemon, but you can reset for natures and IVs that you want. And the synchronizability also works if you have it when these things are shuffled. So if you get something you don't like, you could always reset and try to get something better. Kind of cool. There's a fair few new Pokemon here. Muck sucks. It's one of the worst poison types as it is. All of its moves either already poison opponents or have a secondary effect that's better than poison. With the exception of return and dig. Garboder with aftermath. If you're like me and actually want a Garboder in your family, then this is the forlorn junk heap for you! Aftermath combined with Rocky Helmet is 40% of a health bar and residual damage alone, if you call it right. Could be an interesting way of building a strategy around fainting that has its niche away from the fishing for flinch style of the norm. Buffalot with Soundproof! This is our first time seeing Buffalot at all, and... You want to catch a normal one inst with Sap Sipper instead of this. Sap Sipper isn't just increased power, it's immunity to powder moves. Comes in handy against a lot more than the cast that Soundproof does. As for Buffalon itself, as this is its debut, it's a brutal fighter with good defensive stats, but no outstanding type to aid it in either of those attributes. It's also real slow. Since it's all about power, you can expect to get Mega Horn, Zen Headbutt, Super Power, and Wild Charge. Lots of raw power in there, even if a lot of moves have negative effects. That's just Buffalon in a nutshell. Looks strong on the surface, and if he hits you, it's gonna hurt. But has a lot holding it back, too. Buffalon's graced with a signature move. Head charge is normal, 120 power, 100 accuracy. Basically better return, but with a quarter recoil damage. A pretty reliable nuke. Now for real, we can be sure that's everything there is to Route 9. Now we arrive at the world famous Shopping Mall 9. Colorful and wonderful. I was challenged to a Pokemon battle inside the shopping mall. That means it's a place where only the strong survive. Got it? Oh god, people getting trampled on Black Friday. Don't remind me. On the first floor, they sell medicines. On the second floor, they sell TMs and all and different kinds of mail. On the third floor, they sell items for raising stats and battle items. I really admire Mr. Clyde, the Pokemon gym guy. So I'm practicing to be a guide too. <laughs> sort of what I do, actually, bringing your lines to life. I can't wait for evening. That's right, evening itself is a fever. You need help. This song is awesome, and I recommend you go listen to it. There's just kind of too much going on here for me to really be quiet for much time. Um, but I got to applaud the people that- Oh, wow! Oh, you're a top clerk with everything unlocked, I think- Oh, no, Max Potion, I can already buy that. No, okay, never mind. Might have explained Max Potion twice now that I think about it, but yeah, um... Welcome! Would you like a cold drink with your Pokémon battle? Aw, oh, how thoughtful of you, just the way I like it. I applaud the people who were responsible for composing the soundtrack to Ruby and Sapphire where the Pokemon theme first appears. They were tasked with making a theme that was good enough to rival the Pokemon Center theme. One of the most iconic songs in all of video games. I was gonna say in all of Pokemon though, but no, it's it's all of video games. And they nailed it. The Pokemon theme is incredible. I think I like it even more than the Pokemon Center theme. It's that good. It's that solid of a song. Pignati getting to level 46. That was a wonderful battle. Bravo. Okay, so we can buy those medicines. We got this place over here. This mountain of cardboard boxes. They're full of electrical appliances we can't sell anymore. They're just going to waste. I wonder if someone could put them to good use. We could put a Pokedoll to good use and get away from a high level wild Pokemon or something. <laughs> 
This is the storehouse that we heard about. We'll be able to go back there later and do something rather interesting. If you want all the TMs, the shopping mall is a must visit. That's right. You can come here and brag about, uh, bra you should brag about coming here to the TM collector in Mistralton City. You were saying what I was about to say and I tripped over my own words because I realized where it was going. Hyperbeam, why the frick not? Giga Impact, yeah, that too. <laughs> I'm down to 70,000 Poké Dollars already. I'm such a bad boy. <laughs> Just going for it. Uh, what's on the other side? Hyperbeam and Giga Impact are 150 power normal type moves. One special, one physical, but you gotta recharge next turn. And we can now buy every type of purchasable Pokéball. Okay, let's give this some thought. I have 69 Pokéballs. I didn't even plan that. So much better when the 69 is unintended. Ultra Ball. I could stand to have a few more of those. Heal ball is a freaking joke. None of those. I'll take one. Nut balls might be better than you expect. I'm good in all the others. No need to purchase any mail. Once you got one mail, you got all the mails. If I were to play hide and seek with my Pokemon, they'd find me right away. But if I were to get lost, I'd be glad they could, uh, they could find me right away. That's pretty cute. Oh, you can walk under there. I didn't realize that. Realized I won't get another chance to do this. Call mom inside a shopping mall nine. Shopping mall? A shopping mall? Hmm. Now, I wonder why the first thing that came to mind was the store. Nice. You know your stuff, Mom. I'm impressed. My Lampet's not good at Pokemon battles, but it's great at making toast. <laughs> I love world building like that, just seeing what Pokemon are used for in this world besides that. I wish we would get more Pokemon roaming around towns doing stuff. That's something that I really want them to do in world building in future games. I'm a waiter who is good at Pokemon battles. I need to swap Pignati out of the lead. He's hogging all of the EXP. <laughs> Get it? Hogging. I wish I could say that was intentional from the beginning of the sentence, though, but no, I just got excited mid-sentence and had to finish it that way. He's doing really well, though. He's got type coverage for the stuff in the area that just all happens to be weak against ground and fighting. So, no, I misclick. I misclick. Do it, Night Slash me. Really dark thing is that the Japanese name for Night Slash is a word that we don't have in English. It's the word for samurai testing the sharpness of their blades on innocent civilians to make sure that it can really kill somebody that they need to kill. Yeah. <laughs> I can see why that got changed in the localization. Especially because my word choice would not have fit within the character limit. The thing I buy most often is the uh, item that raises Pokemon HP called the HPF. There are also a lot of other items that catch my eye. In the cafe, we have X items available for purchase. Very powerful items. If you've never given X items a try, don't knock them till you tried them. They buffed them in Sun and Moon. They did not need to be buffed. They were great. And we can buy any vitamins we want. If I had more money, I'd probably be keen on this idea, but we don't. So I'm not. That's everything in Shopping Mall 9. We got lots of cool items. Even got to see some brand new stuff and some teases of things to come. Pretty good place to stop on your journey. Let's go back to town. Back in Opelucid City, I'm so sad that I'm going to have to stop playing today before doing the gym battle. My throat is getting tired and I ran out of my freaky Chinese cough syrup that makes my throat not hurt. And so, yeah, my stamina is pretty much spent. Normally I wouldn't run into such problems. Not for sure I would get a medal for spending money. How many medals do I got? I, I want to know this. I put it in a quick slot because I just, 113. That just makes me think of that episode of King of the Hill where Hank Hill is all like, Bobby, you're gonna hit 113 home runs. And then they're just like, isn't 13 a unlucky number? He's like, it's 113, so it's not 13. I have not seen that episode in years, but I just, that always stuck out of my head because I saw that episode one time on TV when I was really little and I wasn't allowed to watch King of the Hill. And I felt like such a renegade for being able to catch like five seconds of it before my parents changed the channel. And that line always stuck with me because it was the line he said. Next time on Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. We challenge the Opelucid City Pokemon Gym against Drayden, the Spartan Mayor. See you guys then.